Hey there guys, this is a review of the Lark Armour from Ironwood Shop on Etsy. Specifically the Elf Braces and Greaves, let's ease in those, and the Savage Warrior Curus, front and back. Whoops, starting with the Savage Warrior Curus, here we've got the back and the front. Now I should point out, everything in here is made to measure. They uh, will make some modifications if you ask them to. They are really, really good to deal with. For instance, I asked for a couple of rivets uh, here for the for a cloak clasp. I thought I'd be getting something like these, a couple of these braced up. Nope, they went much better than that. Bit of rolled steel there. Looks fancy, doesn't get in the way. Not sharp at all, and it holds on the cloak perfectly. Armour thickness is... Zero that out. Rolled, it comes to... A little over 2mm. It says on the site that their armour is... Normal steel, 1mm, 20 gauge. This is LARP armour, so it's pretty damn good for what it uh, sold as. Leather straps are... Honestly, much thicker than I expected. Zero that. Leather come, uh, straps are all about three millimeters. This is the blackened steel. They also do it in normal steel and they can do it in damaged as well. This is a chest plate. Some flex here. Nothing huge, but it is nice to have that little bit of flex so it doesn't completely restrict you. Straps are eh, about the right size. Onto the back plate. The chest plate may be two articulated parts. This is just one single solid piece. All the edges are rolled over and completely blunt. Not going to get hurt on this stuff. Well, not going to get hurt under LARP's conditions anyway. Do you like the uh, almost Batman esque padding there? Every piece is coated with rush resistant paint on the inside. fits together quite nicely. Fits a lot better once you when you actually focus. Fits a lot better when you're actually wearing it though, obviously. Oops, sorry about that. Chest plate is easily my favourite piece of the set. It's comfortable, it's much lighter than you'd expect considering it's made of steel. The only complaint I have about it is the straps here. These seem to have possibly been put on backwards. It would be a lot easier to get on and off if these were reversed. As it is, it's not too bad, but it is something to be wary of. But I'm sure if you asked, you'd be able to do that in reverse. More like the straps here, which are easy to do. I should definitely point out though that you are going to want some padding under these. You'll see why when I get to the test videos later. Next up, the Elf Braces. Same thickness, same construction. A little over 2 mil thick. I think it's supposed to be 1 mil where it's not rolled, but... Probably about one mil when it's not oh, where it's not rolled. Again, rice coating on the uh, inside. Thick leather straps everywhere. It's all blackened. Now they do make everything too thick. So 
any problems with it, it's probably because you didn't give the right measurements. I measured it with a thick hoodie underneath, so I'm going to have to add some padding to the inside of this. But the rest of it fits perfect. Articulated there, with the leather strap. Doesn't really get in the way when you're handling things. Perfectly safe and comfortable for uh, lapping. Or even just wearing as a cos uh, game, cosplay. Good bit of flexibility there, doesn't interfere. I'd say the off uh, gauntlets are pretty darn good. Same thick leather belts. These are maybe a little bit too long, but I can trim those up. Now onto the elf greaves. Whoops. These are the only thing I have any issue with. Again, built to my uh, measurements. Blackened, rust coating on the inside. Kind of absurdly long straps. Those are going to need to be trimmed. And, uh, but the only real issue I have is this. This is something to be uh, aware of. All the pictures, it looks like a single piece riveted together. It's not, it's actually an articulated piece right here. Held together by a couple of straps. Now that doesn't look like a problem, and if you're wearing proper padding, it's probably not. But, during the testing, oh, I got a really good strong blow there. It bent right in there and dug that piece into my shin. Not fun. I will be adding a lot of padding to the inside of this, even when I'm wearing the proper gear. But, otherwise, you got a lot of flexibility. It's still fairly lightweight. Perfectly comfortable. Really well sized. With just some padding, it'll be perfect. Alright, onto a bit of an overview of it then. So, it's a pretty lightweight, made to uh, fit suit of steel armor for LARP. Looks great, looks beautiful, perfectly fine for the costumes as well. Um, ignore that massively long strap, I'm going to have to just, just cut it in about half. So, how much do you pay for this? It's custom made, made to fit, blackened, rust proof on the inside, actual leather straps and fittings, some customization work, and it's, for what it is, it is dirt cheap. Under 400 Australian. That's a little over 300 US. And like I said, they will customize for you. If you uh, want to know something, ask them. They are really good to work with. There is nothing that I can uh, think of that would be a deal breaker in any of this. Especially for what I'm paying for. It is beautiful, it is lightweight, it's held up to all the tests. It's, yeah. They have a wide range of other stuff too, so give that a look. Alright, I'll cut to the tests in a minute. But the tests were performed with a foam LARP sword. Not this exact one, just one very similar. This was probably the most problematic thing. Only because we were more confident in how strong the armor was at that point. And, well, a bit more padding, like an extra thick hoodie, and I would have been fine. Like I said, the only concern was that one articulated part down here. On the inside of the shin guards, the greaves. And if I stick some padding on there, some thick jeans or something, it'll be fine. So we, started, uh, we finished up with that. Also tested with a modified nerf gun. Yes, that's the smaller caliber. Shoots a lot harder though. This did nothing at all. Barely felt it. And we also used these. Lap arrows from a 25 pound bow. These I felt. Not enough to uh, get hurt. The armor definitely held uh, up to it. Uh, but it did ding off quite hard. No damage, no, I thought there was some denting there, but no, it was just the lighting. Just a couple of hits around there. Yeah, no damage at all to anything, at all. So, it'll definitely hold up to anything in LARP conditions. If you get hit any harder than you are in the test videos, you should probably find a safer place to LARP, to play. And it'll definitely hold up to any costume use. Other stuff featured in the video are my helmet and the chainmail shirt, links to where you can buy those, links to where you can buy the cloak as well, but they are not part of the review. They're just stuff I had laying around that I decided to use to finish off the look costume. 
Incidentally, shirt looks great, feels great. Terrible protection. Definitely not thick enough. No, you want a hoodie or something at the very least. Wherever. I think enough for the arrows before we break them. Sorry? I think it's enough for the arrows before we... Now you've seen the tests, you've seen the armour. If you're looking for some decent, strong, fitted, lightweight steel armour, well, Ironwood Shop. They're great. They've been really a delight to work with. And they have a wide selection of stuff. So even if you don't like these exact pieces, go ahead, have a look on the shop anyway. Link down below.